On Monday this week, the police confirmed the arrest of five people attached to Nile Treasure Gate, the labor export company that took Judith Nachindu, a Ugandan migrant worker, to Saudi Arabia. In an address today morning by the legal team of Nile Treasure Gate to clear the air on some of the reports that have been reported by the media over the past days, they demanded the security forces to take their colleagues to court so that justice can prevail. And now we, we hope and request that our clients need to have their day in court. They need to have their day in court such that evidence is adduced. And we believe that justice will come to light. The team led by Tenangs in Subuga also showed us a document that indicates that Nachind was involved in an accident in Saudi Arabia. The car in which she was traveling was for her employer and there were three other, seven other people in it. It overturned, killing two children of her employer and injuring everyone else, including her. Uh, a Saudi Arabia traffic police report was issued in regard to this accident and has been translated in English by Macquarie University. It is in our custody. The team says that they decided to take Nachindu's former employer, a one sad Dafir, to court for compensation after the nasty accident that almost claimed her life. A lawsuit was filed on her behalf. Court had the evidence and indeed we are happy to say that it has ruled in Judith's favor. The ruling in this case was on the 30th of January and court ordered Saad Dafir to compensate Nachindu to a tune of 271 million Uganda shillings after legal fees. Minus the legal costs involved in pursuing the case, which to us is a good step towards finding her justice. Indeed, all these supporting documents are in our custody. They insist that Nachind was involved in an accident and they don't know how she lost her kidney. However, they wrote to King Fahad Osiptol where the victim was treated after the accident and have until now not got a response from them. The second scan showed that the left kidney was missing. Uh, Mulago's scan results also showed that her spleen was present and this was contrary to that one of King Fahad Hospital where it was showing that the spleen was badly damaged. And nonetheless, we've written to King Fahad Hospital Saudi Arabia to clarify on that. However, the family's lawyers, Abdallah Kayonde, says Nile Treasure Gate's words are just aimed at hoodwinking them. And as a voice, we live on, on the criminal part. We leave the case to government, police, to handle as we wait the Attorney General to clear these people. Maybe to go to Saudi and understand what really transpired, we are also planning to take a civil suit. As a company, we commit uh, our total cooperation with the investigative bodies, and we also believe and trust in the process. We believe uh, the investigative arm of the Uganda police, as well as the DPP's offices, they have the wherewithal and the capacity to investigate and get to the bottom of this matter. On Monday, the Criminal Investigations Department spokesperson Charles Twine informed the country how the files of those who were arrested have already been forwarded to the Directorate of Public Prosecutions.